Hey everyone, Brobint here, and today I'm going to show you how to build my take on the boar farm in Valheim. This design is incredibly simple to build and will produce a disgusting amount of boars for you to slaughter. Because of how fast and efficient this design is, you don't even need two star boars, but I do recommend at least one star boars. So before we get started, I'm going to cover some details about this farm. The reason this boar farm is so effective is because it bypasses the game's breeding limit. Valheim only allows boars to breed if there are five or less boars close by. My design bypasses this cap by getting the piglets out of that range, keeping the boar count low. Another huge upside to my design is that it uses a very small amount of feed. In my testing, a stack of carrots will make approximately 30 boars. I know this design does share similarities with Firespark 81's design, but I promise you I came up with this entirely on my own. This is a simpler, cheaper, and easier breeder to build with zero compromise. So now you know what's up, let's start the guide. Step 1. Preparation First of all, you will need at least two tamed boars to get started. I recommend breeding them normally close by until you have a good amount. The resources needed are as follows. 18 wood and 6 core wood. Please note that this is only for the cost of the build. You will need more for temporary structures that we'll be building later. I recommend a couple of hundred of each just to be safe. Also, don't forget to have some carrots on standby. Other foods do work, but carrots are the easiest to work with because of their shape. To get started, you're going to need a minimum space of 2x2 meters. But if you wish to build more of these pods, then you will obviously need more space. The larger the space, the more boars you can build up at the bottom. Also, it is extremely important to make sure that this is built in a safe place. Otherwise, a grey door, for example, might be able to destroy the entire breeder. Step 2. The build. Begin by stacking 3 4 meter core wood log poles. Now I know this is high, but just be careful and use ladders to elevate yourself. At the top of the pole, place a 1 meter wooden beam on both sides to simulate a single 2 meter beam centered to the pole. Now place a 1 meter pole on both ends to make what looks like an incomplete trident. Next, place a 1 meter beam at a 90 degree angle from either of the vertical poles we just built. This is a temporary beam that will allow us to build the enclosure. Now let's make the enclosure. Snap a wooden half wall onto that temporary beam we just made. Make sure the wall is facing directly into the middle like this. Once that's ready, build 3 more wood half walls to make a box around the pole. Once you've done that, you've already built 90% of the breeder. Step 3. The boars. Now this part of the guide will be more frustrating as now we're going to be dealing with AI. So now we're ready to get the boars into their permanent residence. To get the boars up there, we will be building a temporary ramp out of 26 degree thatch roofs. In my experience in building this ramp, it's much quicker to start from the bottom. Try to place the first roof so the top of the ramp will come out near the top of the breeder. It doesn't have to be perfectly aligned, but it is better to start further back so you don't cut yourself short. Once your roof becomes red and unstable, build core wood poles underneath to support it. Rinse and repeat until you're at the top. If the top of your ramp is too far away, just build a floor over to the breeder. Now place three temporary half wood walls on top of the breeder, leaving the ramp side alone. These walls are to help guide the boars into their home. Next, build round pole fences all the way up both sides of the ramp to prevent the boars from falling off. You will also want to connect the bottom of the ramp to your boar pen. Once you're at the top, use the fences to make a direct path into the breeder. Make sure there are no gaps for them to escape. Once you're done with the fences, I recommend eating some good stamina foods, as we'll be running into the boars to push them up the ramp. Once you're ready to begin the push, open the way for the boar and start to push it to the top and into the pod. Now this part can be super frustrating at times, so if the boar's getting stuck in the corner or something, just wait until it moves on its own. Trust me, this will save you 10 years of your life. Once the boar is in, you no longer have to worry about it, it's stuck forever. Now just do that all over again to get the second boar into the pod. Once both the boars are in the pod, there's a good chance one is higher than the other. You need to get both of them as far down as they can go. To do this, jump on their head and push them around over and over. Eventually, they'll level out. Just be careful to not accidentally fall off the edge. Step 4. The Feeder Start by destroying the three temporary half walls at the top. Next, take note of the direction of the wooden beam the boars are standing on. Stand on the side of the breeder where the beam goes from left to right not forwards to backwards. This is where you'll stand to feed the boars, so snap a floor to the side of the pod on this side. Now place a 1 meter beam aligned to the front center of the back wall. You're aiming for this spot right here. And now for the final step, place a half wood wall aligned to the top center of the end of the beam. You're aiming for this spot. And there you go, you have just finished making the entire boar farm. Now to feed the boars, stand in the middle facing the last wall we placed and throw a stack of carrots in there. 
If done correctly, the carrots will land on the bean perfectly and the boars will start to eat them. Within no time, you'll start to see piglets falling from the sky, so it's probably a good idea to make a pen at the bottom. The smallest pen you can make is a 2x2 two two centered around the pole. However, I highly suggest making it larger so you can store more boars down there and execute them at a later date. Now, before you destroy all of the temporary structures, it's a good idea to place either a portal up at the top and a portal at the bottom so you can get up there to feed them, or you can build a more permanent ladder that will lead all the way up to the top. If you want to make more of these pods, say if you're playing with a big clan and want to feed everyone, you need to build the second breeder five two meter beams away from the original. So place five two meter beams and then start the ascent up for the next pod. Once you've got a permanent way up there, you can go ahead and destroy all of the temporary structures, the ramp, all the supports, everything. It can all go and make it look nice and tidy. Now, in my experience, this took less than an hour to get the first farm set up and running, just to give you a rough idea how long this will take. So on screen right now is a time lapse of the farm over the span of an hour. This is gonna show you how many boards you can expect over the course of an hour. Now you don't have to AFK this, I just did for the video. You can be doing other stuff while it's doing it. So I hope you found this guide helpful. If you did, make sure to press the like button to help others find this so they can build it as well. Make sure to let me know in the comments your experience with this boar farm. I'm sure there's gonna be nothing but good things because this is a seriously good farm. Well, I hope you enjoy the food from this farm. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more Valheim. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time.